Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to calculate the inverse of uh, matrix and uh, we will also learn how to calculate the same with the help of scientific calculator. You will have a link in the description box from which you can download a virtual scientific calculator for your use. So, inverse of matrix it is very important mathematical algebra uh, which is useful in many calculations okay so first we will uh, see what are the conditions uh, to define a inverse of any matrix okay so the very first condition is that the matrix the matrix should be square matrix so inverse is not defined for rectangular matrix the second condition is that the determinant the determinant of matrix should be non zero positive negative are acceptable but determinant should not be zero okay so if any matrix is fulfilling these two condition then only we can find the inverse of that matrix the formula to find out the inverse of any matrix A is very easy. That formula is A inverse is equals to adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. Now you, you might understand that why this determinant should not be zero because if determinant is zero then inverse will have will have infinite elements. Okay. So uh, the formula to find the inverse of any matrix is A inverse equal to adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. Okay. Those who are uh, not aware about determinant of matrix, I have already uh, made a separate video regarding determinant of matrix. So I suggest you please refer that video first and then continue from uh, this point. Now consider, say for example, I am having a matrix A with the dimension 2 cross 2. So number of row and number of columns are 2. And the element value, say for example, I am having 1, 2, 3, 4. And I am interested or I am asked to find out the inverse of A. Okay. So what will I do? So I will just have the first step is to find the determinant of A. So determinant of A is nothing but the multiplication of diagonal element that is 4 into 1 minus multiplication of off diagonal element that is 2 into 3. So 4 minus 6 will give you minus 2. So minus 2 is a non-zero value so we can uh, proceed further now adjoint the adjoint of a is transpose of cofactor matrix that means if i am here having a 2 cross 2 matrix okay so the cofactor for this element 1 is to exclude the first row and first column the remaining thing is the cofactor of 1 the second step is to find the cofactor matrix of A so we are having 2 cross 2 matrix so its cofactor matrix will also have the dimension 2 cross 2 okay so the cofactor of 1 is 4 Similarly, if you want to find the cofactor of element 2, then you exclude the row 
which consists 2, exclude the column which consists 2. So remaining part is 3. So cofactor of 2 is 3. Then the cofactor of 3 with the same logic you will have 2 and cofactor of 4 is 1. But the general equation of cofactor is that if you are finding a cofactor of ij element then it is minus 1 raised to i plus j into minor or say sorry uh, determinant of minor ij okay so please remember this formula as it is one of the most important formula in uh, matrix analysis okay so whenever you are having an odd addition of element say for this element it is a11 so i is equals to 1 j is equals to 1 so minus 1 raised to 2 will be plus 1 and whenever you will have uh, sorry whenever you will have even addition of this uh, element you will have plus 1 and whenever you will have the odd addition you will have the minus 1 so here 1 1 so minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 1 2 so minus 1 raised to 3 which is minus 1 so this sign will be minus here element number is 2 1 so minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 3 again minus 1 raised to 3 is minus so this sign will also be minus now this matrix is cofactor matrix but we are not interested in cofactor matrix we are interested in adjoint of a so adjoint of a as we have discussed that adjoint of a is nothing but the transpose of cofactor matrix so simply we will write the rows as column and columns as rows so adjoint of a is finally 4 minus 3 minus 2 1 okay and hence a inverse which is the ratio of adjoint of a and determinant of a so you will have to divide each element with minus 2 so 4 minus 2 let me write down over here a inverse So it will have the dimension 2 cross 2 only. So 4 divided by minus 2 will be minus 2. Then minus 2 divided by minus 2 will be 1. Then minus 3 divided by minus 2 it will be 1.5. And 1 divided by minus 2 will be minus 0 0.5 so this is how we can calculate the inverse of any 2 cross 2 matrix but in the practice we will always have or uh, most of the time we will going to have a problem which has a 3 cross 3 matrix so again what formulas that should be clear in our mind the very first formula is inverse of any matrix is equals to adjoint of that matrix divided by determinant adjoint is nothing but transpose of a cofactor matrix and the formula to find cofactor is cij c stands for cofactor equals to minus 1 raised to i plus j determinant of multiplied by determinant of minor of ij okay so these two formulas are very important now let us take one more example this time we will have a 3 cross 3 matrix so i am having 1 4 5 minus 2 0 2 and in the third row i am having 1 minus 1 minus 1 so I have taken very random values for each element and we are interested to find the inverse of this matrix. So 
if you calculate the determinant of uh, this matrix so you can refer my old video regarding determinant and in that video for this matrix we got determinant of a equals to 12 okay i am not wasting time to find this determinant over here then our main objective is to find the adjoint of a and to find the adjoint first we need to uh, work out for cofactor matrix okay so cofactor matrix of a as the dimension of a is 3 cross 3 the dimension of cofactor matrix is also 3 cross 3 so cofactor matrix of a will be 3 cross 3 okay so cofactor of 1 is the determinant or minor of 1 so i can write 0 into minus 1 minus 2 into minus 1 so minus minus will or or let me write in a very uh, specific manner so determinant sorry determinant of 0 2 minus 1 and minus 1 then in place of 4 we will have determinant of minus 2 2 1 minus 1 in place of 5 we will have the minor of 5 so minus 2 0 1 and minus 1 so these are the three elements of our cofactor matrix then the cofactor of this element minus 2 so you neglect the second row first column whatever the remaining matrix and the determinant of that remaining matrix will be the cofactor of minus 2 okay similarly for this case now you will neglect the second column so the determinant of 1 5 1 minus 1 now same operation with third column so determinant of 1 4 1 minus 1 uh, similarly for this plus 1 you neglect the third row and first column so whatever the remaining matrix determinant of that that is 4 5 0 and 2 then c3 2 will be determinant of 1 5 minus 2 2 and c3 3 will be determinant of 1 4 minus 2 and 0 okay so this actually is a very simple thing i am just representing in a uh, very uh, tedious way okay now these are the minus of all nine element what is the remaining thing over here the remaining thing is the sign okay so here this element is 1 1 so minus 1 raised to 2 it will be plus 1 so this element will remain positive then here this element is c 1 2 so minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 it is 3 so minus 1 raised to 3 is minus 1 so this element will turn out to be negative similarly this element will be positive this element is again 2 1 so 2 plus 1 3 this element is 2 2 2 plus 2 4 so positive for c for uh, odd addition minus sign will be there for even addition plus sign will be there okay then this element is 2 3 2 plus 3 is 5 so minus sign this element is 3 1 3 plus 1 4 so plus sign this element is 3 2 3 plus 2 is 5 so minus sign this element is 3 3 3 plus 3 is 6 so plus sign or in other word uh, if you want if you want to just remember the thing then please remember this diamond 
element will have negative sign as you can see a diamond is being formed so this diamond will have negative sign always and all the elements other than this diamond will have positive sign as you can see okay so moving further the cofactor matrix cofactor matrix of a so now we have calculated the cofactor matrix as 2 0 or minus 0 but uh, if the value is 0 then there is no meaning of its sign 2 minus 1 minus 6 plus 5 8 minus 12 and 8 ok so we are having the cofactor matrix of a now we are not interested in cofactor matrix we are interested in uh, adjoint of a which is nothing but the uh, let us say this cofactor matrix is c then adjoint of a is equals to c transpose which is uh, represented as c prime so c transpose can be written as so now first row will become first column 2 0 2 second row will become second column minus 1 minus 6 5 third row will become third column so 8 minus 12 8 now we have a formula a inverse is equals to adjoint of a divided by determinant of a determinant of a is 12 so we will simply divide all these elements by 12 and we will have the inverse of this matrix so a inverse will be 2 by 12 it is 0 0.166 then minus 1 by 12 so it will be minus 0 0.083 then 8 by 12 so you will have 0 0.666 then again 0 divided by 12 it will be 0 itself minus 6 divided by 12 so you will have minus 0 0.5 minus 12 divided by 12 so that will be minus 1 2 divided by 12 0 0.166 then 5 divided by 12 so it will be 0 0.416 and finally 8 divided by 12 will give you 0. 666 so this is how you can calculate the inverse of any 3 cross 3 matrix now we will try to solve this with the help of scientific calculator so for that open the installed version of fx991es the link is already uh, provided to you in the uh, description box okay so what is the very first step first we need to select the mode of this calculator because by default it is in the arithmetic mode we need to set up it in a matrix operation so you click or you just press this mode button so by pressing this mode button some options will be shown on the screen and as you can see the matrix is uh, selected for number six so we will press the number six then it will ask you that for what matrix you want some operation so you can define three matrices either matrix A or B or C so I will go for matrix A so I need to press 1 so by pressing 1 now you have selected matrix A and now your calculator is asking for the dimension of A so uh, you will have different combination from 1 to 3 okay so you can define one cross one matrix two cross two two cross three three cross two any okay but maximum dimension will be three cross three so we are interested in that only so we will press one so as soon you as soon as you press one now the calculator will ask for the values of your uh, matrix 
so uh, for this example that we have just solved we have taken a matrix as 1 so press 1 then equal to 4 equal to 5 equal to minus 2 0 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 so now you have defined all the elements of matrix okay now press AC now you can see the matrix is written above this button 4 and it is written in yellow letter that means we need to operate it with shift whatever uh, printed with yellow letter can be operated with the help of shift and whatever is written or printed in the pink or red letter can be operated with alpha okay so we will press shift 4 so by doing so we will have a list of operations so for that now I am interested to find the inverse of matrix A because we have defined uh, matrix A and so we will select 3 so press 3 so on your screen matrix A will be displayed now to for finding the inverse you simply press X inverse which is just below the mode switch so inverse and press equal to and you will have the value of each and every element of inverse matrix within a fraction of moment okay so you can uh, verify that all the values that we have calculated and this calculator is showing are matching with each other so it is quite easy uh, for engineering student or science student uh, to determine the determinant of matrix or inverse of matrix with the help of calculator so it will be very uh, time saving and easy thank you very much